number eight. How come? How come? Yeah. Well, I just wanted to be here with the rest of the vets, and uh, I wanted a chance to display this beautiful banner, which makes which makes our connection as veterans. <laughs> okay. Protecting the environment. Who's the biggest uh, polluter on Earth? Right. It's the U.S. military. Here, here. We're opposed to war so uh, against direction? anybody and okay. anything, including Mother Earth. So tell me who you are. I'm Will Thomas from New Hampshire, the A.J. Musty chapter, number 62. Great. And you are? I'm Diane Messer. I live in Liberty, Maine, and I'm a veteran for peace, 22-year Army vet. Great. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Followed by military vet families speak out. The budget for all people. Wilf, the international women's international league for peace and freedom is here. We're the best. Steve Gillis, I'm the Vice President of the Boston School Bus Drivers Union, 800 strong, uh, United Steelworkers Local 8751. For three decades, we came into South Boston, and we were stoned and bricked, and children were bloodied on our bus. These same forces who are trying to keep lesbian and gay people and veterans talking about peace out of the South Boston Parade are the same forces that have, even last week, taken a vote at the behest of Mayor Menino to return the city to pre-1974 segregation uh, of the Boston public schools, to kick the kids off the bus and go back to your neighborhood school. Of course, we know in the city of Boston it's about resources. In West Roxbury, they have schools with computers, libraries, tech labs. In Roxbury, they have schools where the roofs are falling in and where they have been converted the condominiums for gentrification. This is what is going on in South Boston today. A political establishment that wants to divide working people, divide us against each other on the basis of homophobia and racism and war. And we're here as a working organization, as a labor union, to say we will have none of that and we will march in their face today on the basis of solidarity and working together to, to win our justice. So, the Socialist Alternative are here. Want to say something? <laughs> We're running a, um, one of our members for City Council at large here in Boston this year. He's uh, Seamus Whelan, Boston, Boston, uh, longtime Boston resident, Massachusetts Nurses Association activist, trying to give a political voice to the 99% workers and youth in Boston against the Democratic Party machine and against the, the corporations that make this city undemocratically run. This Peace St. Patrick's Day Peace Parade? Yes, Bikes Not Bombs. Bikes Not Bombs, yep. great. And you're from Boston or? Well, yeah, we're in Boston. Yep, I'm not from Boston, but. But you're here for this parade? Well, no, I live in Boston now. So. Yeah, we're located in Jamaica Plain. Great. Yep. You're, uh, you're large guys. Okay, so, so here's Joe Stein. And, uh, and you're here at the uh, alternative at the Peace St. Patrick's Day Parade. That's right. I consider What's this the, the real St. Patrick's Day Parade. We're here. Because St. Patrick's Day and Ireland are green. And we're in the green part of the parade. About, you know, which is all about peace and people and the planet and the political transformation that we need if we're ever going to get the so world it, that works for us. Is it heartening to see everybody going green today? You know, it feels like people are showing their latent wishing to make it so. We've got to be willing to fight peacefully in the street and in the voting room, too. we got to stand. 
stand up for people, peace, and the planet. We gotta do it now. I'm Christofferson. I'm here with Get Equal, but I also work with uh, Stop the Hate Homophobe here out in Springfield. Uh-huh. And so you've come to Boston? Why? I've come to Boston to march in this parade because the private controllers of the parade don't let in the peace people or the queers or any of the other cool progressive groups that you see here. So I'm here with my sign because this is Representative Lynch's territory. He will not sign on to the letter asking for repeal of DOMA. He will not co-sponsor UAFA. He's very happy to march in the parade with bigots, so I don't believe he should be senator. Uh -huh. So who are you and what, why? I'm Rosemary Keene. I'm a part of Dorchester People for Peace, and I'm also from First Church in Boston, UU. So I have, I'm in two, two brigades here, the Peace Brigade and the Religious Brigade, like up there. And I'm also carrying the banner here for Bradley Manning, uh, hoping to get the word out about him, how unfairly he's been treated. anti-oppression and anti-imperialism. 